Hey friends, welcome back. I'm your host, Ken the Storyteller, and today I will dive right back in to the world of true crime. Three cases I will discuss today had little detail and cases that didn't get major media coverage. So if you don't know, these cases hit home because they're coming right out of St. Louis, Missouri, and I am a native of Missouri, just a few hours away from St. Louis in Kansas City, Missouri. So when you're ready, friends, join me on this coaster into the world of true crime. First case, Wilma Jean Norwood, born June 6, 1954, last seen December 21st, 2001 in St. Louis, Missouri. She was 47 years old at the time of her disappearance. Height 5'5 five five to 5'9, five weighing about 170 pounds. She would now be about 68 years of age. There's not much detail about Miss Wilma's story except that she was leaving her residence in St. Louis and was never heard from again. If you have any information about Miss Wilma Jean Norwood, please, please contact St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department at 314-231-1212. Again, 314-231-1212. Friends, do you understand why it's so important to spread awareness about these missing women? We need to have better media coverage for all races of people across the board because we are all human beings. Well, not all, but that's a conversation for another day. Who deserves that respect? Please help bring justice to Miss Wilma and give her family closure because I know I wouldn't be able to function on a daily basis knowing my loved one is out there missing with no support worldwide. Second case, Kimberly T. Tatum, also known as Kimberly T. Lewis, born April 19, 1979 last seen on December 22, 1999 in St. Louis, Missouri. She was on her way to her job, Sam's Club, to pick up her paycheck, but never made it. Miss Kimberly was 20 years of age, height 5'8", weighing 160 pounds when she disappeared. She has a tattoo of a panther on her left shoulder with the name Kim across the top. No information about her route she took, no transportation information. Allegedly, Miss Kimberly lived with the man with the last name Tatum, but her family said they weren't married. Also, no information if the man was a person of interest she was living with in her disappearance. I mean nothing. She would be 43 to 44 years of age now. If you have any information on the disappearance of Kimberly T. Tatum or Lewis, please contact St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department at 314-231-1212. Again, 314-231-1212 or Missouri's Highway Patrol Missing Persons Unit at 800-877-3452. Again, that number is 800-877-3452. Case number 99-167433. Case number again, 99-167433. So sad that there's barely no information about her. I just don't understand. Third case, Renee Withers, born December 19, 1978. Last seen on November 7, 2018, walking from a relative's home on the block of 105th of Duke Drive in St. Louis, Missouri. She was 39 years old. Spotted later that day at a bank downtown near Tucker and Olive and never heard or seen again. Miss Renee was wearing a black hooded sweatshirt, blue jeans and green sneakers with a homemade tattoo with her name all in caps on her left calf. Height 5'1 to 5'3, weighing about 145 to 220 pounds. It's reported that Miss Renee suffered from schizophrenia and bipolar disorder, but it was well taken care of when she vanished. Lord have mercy. The family is standing strong on the fact that Miss Renee didn't have any enemies, drug problems, no history of leaving without any warning. She'll be 44 years old now. If you have any information on the disappearance, of Miss Renee Withers, please contact St. Louis County Police Department at 636-529-8210. Again, the number is 636-529-8210. Friends, as I wrap up this episode, please keep these women and their families in prayer. As I say and believe, there is nothing impossible for the Most High God in heaven to reverse. Prayer and faith is important. Shout out to The Charlie Project and Missouri's Missing on Facebook. If you can donate to these organizations to help, I'm sure they will appreciate it. But you can spread awareness on social media of these missing women. Until next time, friends, stay aware and prayed up. Thanks for tuning in today for another true crime episode. Please follow me on Instagram as Ken the Storyteller and visit my business page, Thriller Novelist. Like and subscribe to this channel if you want more of Ken the Storyteller. And follow my podcast, Mystify. All the links will be in the description box. I'll see you next time, friends. Bye.